Hi everyone, it's Elizabeth Diakos here. Uh, as you probably know by now, I'm a career transition coach working mainly with teachers who want to get out of education. And so I work with teachers in an, a coaching program to help them discover the way forward after they decide to leave education. But I wanted to talk today about what are the top three reasons why teachers who, even if they do want to leave education, actually don't. And I, th I think the three are fear, money, and I don't want to say a lack of imagination because teachers are creative people, but just maybe an inability to imagine a different future. So let me talk about fear first. Fear is about when you would like to do this but you think I just don't have the skills, I don't have the resources, I can't bring anything new to the table and I've been working in this institution of, of, of school for such a long time that even um, just, just thinking that I could have something else to offer to another industry or in another situation it makes me feel terrified and so the fear becomes this crippling uh, force that causes you to just no, not take any action okay so that's the number one then the second one is money people are so worried obviously because they've got a mortgage there are a lot of single mums in teaching and they have to pay the bills they have to put food on the table they have to pay for their day-to-day -day expenses and I was talking to a mum who's a teacher yesterday um, and she said to me that you know when when things were really tough she would have to make the choice between buying a pair of shoes for herself or for her children and of course you're always going to look after your kids and make sure they've got everything they need and so there's a lot of pressure to especially if you're single to make sure that your family is well cared for uh, and you so you put your own life on hold somewhat in order for that to happen and so taking the leap to leave teaching which is pretty scary um, and uncertain and there's a, a sort of a leap into the unknown and then also being concerned about money is going to obviously be a a pretty big deterrent for people and the, the third factor and I think this is actually one of the most important ones is the being unable to imagine a different future so I want you to think about imagine <laughs> I'm asking you to imagine imagine looking into the bright sunlight and then hold that you know hold staring into the sunlight for a, a second or two um, sorry I'm at the airport so there's a bit of background noise I'm just heading I'm at Sydney heading up to Ballina on the mid north coast of New South Wales so for a couple of days a little bit of a beach holiday so so imagine that you're looking into bright sunlight and then you look away and you, and all you can see is this like blur of brightness that's that's clouding your vis vision and then it goes dark and it's like a black hole in front of you which is what happens when you stare into bright light so it's kind of like that with um, trying to imagine a different future you stare into the future but you can't actually see anything you've just got this this blackness in front of you and there's no form to it and there's no uh, kind of way of knowing what it could look like and so one of the things I can help you with as a coach is to help you to imagine that brighter future that different future a future that at this point in time when you're in the thick of it and you're feeling pretty distressed and demoralized and uncertain that's where I can really help you to imagine a different future and then plan the steps that you need to get to that future so look I'm I've got to go because my flight's going to be called in a minute but I just wanted to to say that it's it's understandable that you would be afraid it's understandable that you would be concerned about money and it's understandable that it's hard for you to imagine a different future but that's where you, if you get some help you can actually overcome all three of those major obstacles to uh, getting out of teaching and actually having the life that you want so look, if you've uh, found that this resonated with you, send me a like, send me some love. If you're interested, I have a Facebook group called Get Out of Teaching. That's all it's called, just Get Out of Teaching. It's a pretty easy one to remember. And if you would uh, like to have a chat, uh, feel free to private message me and we can go from there. And thanks to all the people who are watching and for all your love. Okay, take care. See you soon. Bye.